Welcome to part 1 of my Titanic build. As I've already done the unboxing video and went through the extras that came with it and the parts, let's jump straight into the build and we'll begin as always by cutting off the pieces from the sprue, in this case I'll start with the base. As always, cut off any excess plastic and file the parts to fit. The base is ideal for the mains cable for the LEDs as it can just go underneath the horizontal support. First thing to do is light block the decks and hull. As the hull is already moulded in black, a couple of coats of white will be enough. The decks I'll do black then white. For the lighting, I'm just going to use a few strips of warm LEDs. In the unboxing video, I mentioned that I was going to use connectors and that I wouldn't have to solder. In hindsight, it's actually easier to solder because the connectors are just too big and clunky. I'll need to make a hole in the base of the hull for the cable to fit through. Snip small pieces off and file to make it even. and that'll work fine. Wash the parts to remove any excess plastic and residue. I'll start with the sand and mask off small areas for the glue. I gave it one coat of semi-gloss black. Glue it together and it's as simple as that. I'm going to mask the top part of the deck panels to light block them. I used undercoat, two coats of black, then two coats of white. Now to start a drilling of the many many portholes and windows. I'm using a USB power drill that gets through it fairly quickly. There are two different sized portholes, most of them being the smaller ones for which I'm using a 1mm drill bit. For the larger ones I used 1.2mm. Put the three hole supports in place then simply join the two halves together. And use some tape to hold together until dry. Instead of using putty, I just insulated the inside of the hull with tape. Now I'll just fit the side propeller housing either side, the rudder and these extensions to the hull. I'm sure there's a name for them but I don't know. Part of the keel perhaps. Forgive the obvious continuity error but I did the lighting while waiting for the hull to dry. I'm just going to use two standard LED strips, roughly each one being the length of the hull to light the ship. I'll join the two together using white for positive and black for negative. First of all, tin the ends of the cables and LED strips. Then solder the cables to one end of the strip, always keeping in mind positive to positive, negative to negative. Now take the ends of those cables and join a further two pieces to them so they can go up through the ship to light the decks. Then join those four cables to the power strip. And that's it. Obviously those two cables are far too long but no harm. A quick test and it's looking nice. Lovely warm colour. I have a dimmer switch on them too, so when the decks go on, I can see the level that's needed. We also get an idea of what it'll look like in the ship. I may not need to add further LEDs for the decks, the light could be bright enough as it is to do the job, but the cable is there for extra strips if needed. 
onto the hull and the first thing I'll do is wrap some cling film around the power cable just so no paint gets on it. Inside the hull I'm putting some paper towel on top to stop any paint hitting the LEDs. Now I mask the area to spray the anti-fouling red. In the unboxing video, I spoke about the Titanic colours with the historical colour references as printed on the box. I did a few patch tests and to my surprise, the anti-fouling red is more a pale shade of pink. I understand it's not supposed to be fire engine red, but that's far too pale. And the wooden deck colour for the decking is too dark. So I'm going to use the TS33 hull red and the TS68 wood deck colours from Tamiya. I'll start with the hull. And that looks so much better with hull red. That's the red done and removing the masking tape the line is all but perfect. Bar a little paint bleed but that'll be fixed in the next step. Now I'll mask to spray the black section. Once done and dry, mask again to spray the top section white. And once all dry, remove the tape. I couldn't ask for a better result. Perfect lines, I'm delighted with that. Now I need to spray the propellers brass and the anchors metal, and there they are. Now I'll place the gold trim decals along the top. And I'll place the propellers and anchors in place. and a few more decals. And that's the hull done. One last step is to give it a coat of clear matte gloss to protect the paint and decals as there's a lot more handling of it to come. So that's it for part one, delighted with the way it's looking. I hope you're enjoying it so far. See you in part two, where I'll start on the decking. Until then, hailing frequencies closed. If you liked what you saw, please hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell too. Thank you.